Everyday people, man, it's your boy PJ, and today we back up in the confessional again. Of course, we are in the same day, so you're gonna get the same outfit, but you might get this video on a different day. So please stay tuned because you are not watching a rerun. Okay, you are not watching a rerun. So if you made it this far, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And share this out to your friends and let everybody know do not invest in the Tulsa real estate fund. Okay, do not invest in the Tulsa Real Estate Fund unless you do your own investigations into Jay Morrison. Okay, Jay Morrison, I'm not calling him a scammer, but let's just say he hasn't been too honest with a lot of the stuff that's been happening in the past. Now, we all know he has a, a troubled background, and we're not going to fault him for that. We're not going to fault anybody for having a troubled background. We only fault people for not fixing the shit that they did and being better longer uh, uh, in the longevity of life, okay? So let's give him props on that for at least coming up in the world. But I'm kind of confused about the Tulsa Real Estate Fund, okay? First of all, are you going to be investing in Tulsa? If not, change the fucking name, okay? Because one thing I want you to understand is, yes, we do need a black Wall Street, but do we actually need it in a specific spot? No, but if we are going to be saying we got a black Wall Street from the Tulsa real estate fund, it needs to be invested in the Tulsa black Wall Street, okay? And that's just, that's just a flat out line right there. I don't need to go any further into why a Tulsa real estate fund should put money back into Tulsa. I mean, if you're going to use the name, if you're going to use the name, by all means, if if the people of Tulsa, Oklahoma are fine with that, feel free to use the name. But I do not believe that they will be happy about you using their name and not investing into the city. You know what I'm saying? Tulsa is still, could be a thriving city. But, but before the past 50 years, it's been thriving for white folks. But that's neither here nor there. But whatever, I'm just, I digress. We're going to go back to uh, Mr. Scam J. Morrison, okay? Is Mr. Morrison a scammer? Is he? I don't know. But I remember he was on The Breakfast Club a few years back. And this is when I first heard about J. Morrison. I first heard about him and... Then I seen him on The Breakfast Club and I was like, I gotta pay attention to this guy. So I really started to listen and understand. And actually he told me about FICO. I learned through FICO about him and I learned about credit, uh, fixing my credit through him. Believe it or not, I learned a lot of good information in my earlier days of being broke and how to fix my credit from him. So I was like, this guy has to be the truth. Well, as years progress, uh, we started to hear more shaky shit with people up in the northeast coast of America. All those people just saying, man, Mr. Morrison is scamming people out of money, hitting them for this, hitting them for that. People are paying for his classes. He's not doing the returns. Well, this is where I go back to telling you guys, stop investing in YouTube financial gurus. Stop investing in YouTube uh, real estate gurus. Stop investing in people you do not have direct access to, okay? If you want to get access to someone in real estate to learn from and invest your m money and time into so they can help you uh, change your career, you need to find someone that you can access daily. You do... Remember, just check this out, man. The important part of having a success, successful business is actually having a skill, okay? Having a skill. If you do not have any real estate skills, you have to go to school. If you do not go to school, you have to have a learning curve. Your learning curve is having a mentor, 
paying someone on YouTube who you do not have access to all the time. Now, let, let me take this back. Some people may, some of these real estate gurus, some of these financial people, they may have the time to deal with you personally. They may. But I'm going to just be real. Don't go that route. This, this is not the route you want to go. If, if you do, if you, now if you are ones that go this route and it works for you, fine. But if you, I'm telling you, figure out something that's going to work for you immediately and that's by having a, a, a close mentor. Do not invest with people you don't know. Now, for instance, now Jay Morrison is now Oh, oh, this is why I'm getting on Jay Morrison. I almost forgot why I was talking about him. So, Jim Jones has been upset that Harlem is being by, bought by other people, low in, and they're buying all the low income housing. You can tell you when other people buy low income housing, it no longer is low income housing. They are getting rid of low income housing in the metro areas. Because it is affordable for people to buy and they have all this extra money because there is a lot of money in the world today. They will renovate and the prices will go up. I just heard the other day someone say, never in my life did I understand that your generation will be paying the most rent ever. And imagine that. Oklahoma is a well-to-do state. It has been so easy to live in Oklahoma for all my life. This year, we are starting to see homeless rise through not, not, not homeless people, people who can't afford their homes anymore. So it's homelessness. Just, I mean, you don't gotta be living on the street to be homeless. Your ass just don't have to have a house and you're homeless, okay? So that's what I'm talking about. So. Needless to say, Jim Jones is upset that all these people came in and spent $68 million on low-income housing in Harlem. They about to flip it, okay? You know why he's upset? Because it's probably the block he crips on or bloods on or whatever he does. It's probably the block he represented all his life. You know what I'm saying? And that block that you don't own, somebody else owns it. So Jay Morrison jumps out the window and says, hey, Jim Jones, you want to do this? You need to crowdfund. You need to do this. He has the largest crowdfund, the black crowdfund, real estate fund, blah, 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 blah. whoop de bam Listen, dog. Mm-mm. Uh-uh, Jim Jones, you reposted that. Delete that shit. Listen, you don't know that man. You do not know that man. I don't know that man. But if he shouted me out, I would do I would do some due diligence. I would get him. You know the best way to handle situations like this when you don't know a person, but you you potentially see there's a way that you can make money with this person, but you don't want to get scammed. Don't put him on blast. Give him a call. Shoot him a DM. It's time to think like a businessman. Think respectable. Fuck all this internet shit where people just put at people on blast and people. To, quick to call people scammers and quick to call people gurus and fake gurus and jumping out the window doing all this crazy stuff you need to reach out to these people now i ain't gonna lie i have reached out to mr morrison probably some years ago i've reached out to a lot of people and you know what none of them were accessible to me you know who helped me someone in my own backyard helped me learn more about my financials, uh, my financial gains, learn more about real estate, all this stuff I have learned here with someone that I can actually sit across from, I can call right now, someone I can email, someone I can go see, someone I know where he lives. You know, if you don't know where Jay Morrison lives, you should, you probably shouldn't be invested with this person because that person is not going to treat you like someone who would bring you to their house and let you be around their family. When people treat you like that, that means you are an in crowd. You are in. If I can't have your personal phone number, if I don't know where you live, we're not friends, we're not business partners. This is a, a fair exchange. And if I don't get out of you what I'm supposed to, 
that's on me. It's not on him because he provides the tools that I pay for. See, that's why y'all need to stop going for all these gurus and use your common sense. Stop getting ripped off of 2022, okay? No more NFTs uh, from, no, no more NFT gurus. No more crypto gurus, okay? That shit is over with. No more real estate gurus. That shit is over with. People are being exposed daily for the fuckery. So please do your due diligence. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it'll save you and your family lots of headache. Okay, everyday people, thank you guys for watching. It's been my time and it's been a pleasure having you here. Thank you for watching. Everyday people, I'll holler at you. Peace. <laughs>